Fragrance Show, and welcome back into the Fragrance Show. So today's word, or today's show episode, is based around maceration. Ten bottles here with me today of cologne that actually works better after the maceration process has taken its place. All right, stay tuned. The Fragrance Show. Guys, welcome back into the channel, man. Peace to everybody in the fragrance community. Shouts out to everybody doing a thing. Shouts out to my new subscribers, my return subscribers. Peace to everybody, man. So today we're talking maceration. So maceration, if you look up the word online or if you Google the word, is basically in which the process of the alcohol in your fragrance has evaporated. It actually allows the fragrance to perform a little bit better, stick around a little bit longer. You might think that the fragrance is weak, but once you pump it, pump it through the atomizer a bunch of times and you let it sit, like I said, allows the alcohol in the fragrance to evaporate. So I have some short shot fragrances that I know that after the maceration process have taken its place, these ones has definitely stepped up when it comes down to performance. We'll try to put these names up on the screen as you guys has already requested when it comes down to me doing these videos. Um, so, like I said, I got y'all. But the first fragrance up on the list for sure after the maceration process has taken its place and the performance is much better now and I'm glad I held on to the bottle because I did prejudge it a little bit early and that is Cocktail Intense, this one right here. This is an Angel Share clone. I believe from the house of Fragrance World. Definitely works better, performs super great now as far as from an overall longevity standpoint. I get about 10 hours on this one, and yes, cocktail intense. Uh, man, good stuff, all right? Fragrance number two. Number two, guys, is gonna come from the designer side. Now, I love me some Polo Blue. This is the newest and latest release from Polo's, the Polo Blue Flanker line. And it is the Parfume Concentration. Um, after having this one, man, for a great time, um, really, really has stepped up to the point where I could almost wear this in the, I would say, going into the fall time. It's not only just a spring and summer scent, you can push it into the fall. Now, some of the notes in it is a little bit darker than your regular Polo Blue, but even still, after they're letting this thing sit, it actually has turned into a great fragrance. And like I said, I push it into the fall as well. Really, really love this stuff. You guys let me know, did y'all ever get the chance to pick up a bottle of Polo Blue Parfume? That's number two, guys. Fragrance number three. We're going to take a trip over to some green Irish tweed from the house of our mom, and that is Trace Noe. This is actually one of the top tier performing clones for green Irish tweed. I done made a nice dent in this. I wouldn't say uh, to me, it's not my best smelling one, but it's probably the best performing one. And the maceration process have definitely worked on this one, guys, and that is Trace Noe by our mom. Number four, and this one, no doubt about it guys if you have this fragrance hopefully you have continued to held on to it if you don't have this fragrance i think you should definitely pick it up because i do believe it's not going to run you no more than probably about 20 to 25 dollars and you have to let this one sit no doubt about it and that is ijazi silver i actually like this one better than the first ijazi that i picked up you guys said this reminds you of yxl uh blue electric this actually smells like a lot of things. People say Arrow's Flame and stuff like that. But this is a great fragrance. Let it sit a little bit and you will get your money's worth, okay? Five guys wanna take a trip over to Mason Alhambra and we have a Tom Ford Black Orchid clone. Now, I do have some other Tom Ford Black Orchid clones that actually performs longer than this one. It actually smell better, the, but the process did work on this one and I'm glad I held on to it. And that is Black Origami, guys, Black Origami. When I first got this one, 
I was very, very happy with the smell of the fragrance, but the performance was lacking. After four hours, I had to probably spray this again, but now upon using it and revisiting, I get about an extra hour of it, and it actually smells a little bit more potent uh, in the beginning of this fragrance. Once again, Black Origami from Mason Alhambra, guys. That's five. We got five more. And we're gonna take a trip over to Mason Alhambra again. And we're talking, yeah, this one right here. Recently picked this one up. This is a YXLY EDP Concentration Clone. And you definitely have to let this one sit, guys. Don't judge it off when you first get it. Uh, Cause when you first do get it and you spray it and you wear it, it is gonna come off kind of weak, a little bit faint. and. I would say when I first got it, I was pressing the line as far as performance go. I would say probably to about like four to five hours heading into that five hour mark. But now when I do use it, I get in between that five going into six hour mark. And I can't say it smells stronger or anything like that, but the performance definitely has stepped up. And that is Mason Alhambra's Yeah. On the list, guys, I would say it's probably my number one alternative to the popular Blue Day Chanel fragrance, and I would probably say EDT Concentration, but this is from the house of Frank Olivier, and it's called Night Touch. Now, I've been sitting on this probably for months, even probably up to a year, and it is great, great alternative for the price point. I do believe you probably can pick this probably up for buying about 30 to 35 dollars and i might even pick this one on after i take my shower tonight super great alternative if you're trying to if you're trying to save some bucks uh most people just go ahead and buy the real thing that's cool but if you're on a budget and you got about 30 to 35 bucks and you want some blue day chanel dna night touch let it sit some and it does pop off the skin very very well up on the list is a part from darmali's latent clone and that is lay den L-E-Y-D-E-N, Mason Alhambra. Now, I recently revisited this prior by about a couple days ago, man, because I was using the other alternative to Parfum Darmali's Layton, and that is Detour Noir, because I felt like uh, that one, as uh, far as the projection go, I get the projection performance that I want in the beginning of that fragrance. But man, this thing has improved to the point where I wore it out probably to start my work day. It was probably like around 32 or 33 degrees. And this thing was pumping, man. This thing was pumping. So I might have to, I don't wanna, it might be replacing my Detour Noir, man, as my go-to clone for Parfum Darmali's Layton because the performance on this one has definitely, definitely stepped up uh, once that maceration process has taken its steps. So, Mason Alhambra's Lay Den, L-E-Y-D-E-N, guys. We're left on the list, guys, and we're gonna go ahead and close the video out. Shouts out to everybody who's been sticking around watching the video. Next one up is another Green Irish Tweed clone. I'm a heavy fan of Green Irish Tweed because it's versatile, it's mass appealing, and it's a huge compliment getter. Um, this one hails from the, I believe this one is fragrance right well as well, and it's called Aventus Green, Aventus Green. Now, this one for me, I like this one better than a little bit than our moth Tres Louise because Tres Louise has like this sweet undertone on the DNA. I like the more green forest kind of vibe with green Irish tweed. I like the more fresh side rather than a sprinkle of whatever that sweetness is coming from that Tres Louise. But nevertheless, definitely has stepped up in performance. I mean, when I first got this one, I was probably getting about four to five hours, but now I get between like five and a half to six hours. And it actually is a super, super great alternative. Not the best atomizer, but if you like some green Irish tweed, like I said, this one has more of a fresher kick, then you might want to try a vintage green from Fragrance World. Now, last one up on the list, guys, and I will say, maceration is real and you have to really i had to really let this one sink in with this bottle and it is by far by far one of the top performing fragrances in my collection and that is og latafa's camera now with this one when i first got mine the longevity on the skin and clothes was great but it was one of those things where 
I could not smell it unless it was like a, I would say probably after an hour, I could not smell this one projecting uh, unless I, it was like a nice cool breeze that blew by or something like that. But now after sitting on this thing for over a year, up on the shelf and y'all can see I have used a great deal of it it projects well when I first put it on it basically does what I want it to do and that's Latafa's camera all right guys so you guys let me know down in the comments man if, if any fragrance that you done set on works great for you now something that you thought about giving away or selling but you glad you held on to it let me know down in the comments guys thanks for watching another video with your boy man if you need more content click on that video header up above you want to like and subscribe to the channel you can go ahead and do that as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace salute